your edge uh, on your blade. This wood is pretty soft though, just again because it's so because it's so wet. I really do need to put a lanyard on this though if I'm going to be swinging it like this. I have the paracord to, to do it with because these this handle is pretty slick to be quite honest with you. I don't notice any burring at all on that edge. Again, the BK2 uh, I got from Rocky National at uh, RockyNational.com. I think I think they had these. Actually, I'm positive they had these for $59.99, which was a really good price on this blade. And this is what I'm wearing as well on my person for my carry knife today and hiking in uh, it was extremely comfortable so I'll tell you what I'm very unhappy about is that I lost on my hike in going through some thick stuff I think I know where I dropped it out of one of my side pouches one of my Nalgene bottles and I am not happy about that because that one is my favorite Nalgene bottle and I should have had it I should have had it cinched down, and I'm very unhappy that I did not, and now I have to go find it. <laughs> That's the stupid tax. <laughs> you got to go find it now in the, in the woods. There you go. There's some woodworking with the BK2. I'm gonna switch to the. Uh, I'm gonna switch to the Mora and do some uh, some light baton work with that. I just haven't used it yet. But first, um, of course, you always want to take care of that. That takes care of you. So quick, quick wipe down. I can't believe the finish on this. Look at that, it looks new out of the box, right? Kind of. But no uh, no burring at all on that edge. I'm sure the contrast isn't catching it, but no burring at all on that edge. No chips, nothing. Very happy. <clears throat> Where is my Yes, this is the uh, the 911. Great sheath on this one as well. But let's see uh, see how it does. I'm not going to use uh, gloves on this because I want to see how the handle holds. This is that rubber overmold. Beautiful knife. Love the Scandi uh, grind on these knives. Going through this wet wood, trying to make a fuzzy stick out of it is a lot more difficult than some of that drier, drier wood. And the reason, <laughs> the reason is probably pretty simple, is because you can take much bigger bites out of it. So I'm trying to keep a hollow or a shallow rather. shallow uh, angle to it but
let's go through this and see how it... If I haven't mentioned it yet, I got these uh, Demora knives from uh, Ragnars on the line, and I'll go ahead and annotate that as well. I like to support um, I like to support good websites and good people and good companies with competitive prices. Competitive doesn't always mean the lowest, by the way. Competitive just means you know in the ballpark, in the range. That's what that means, but, you know, super shipping, super customer service. Love supporting family businesses. That's cool. I'm just plunging these into the ground. I'm trying to be really careful when I present the knife because I do have to hold, hold this wood as I present the knife, but... These things, this, these Mora knives do plenty good work. Very inexpensive bushcraft, bushcraft knife, lightweight. You know, just, just a great, great tool. This is a little, a little wet. This Scandi grind has really got a nice, sharp, sharp knife for you to use and. We all know the story about, or the stories about dull knives and just the dangers that they pose because you just need to work that much harder with them. But these knives are nice and razor sharp out of the box. Um, nice Scandi. Scandi grinds, which is just a uh, very simple beveled design. Um, We've got a flat surface and it just plunges straight to the grind, uh, which is nice. Gives you a nice sharp, nice sharp edge to work with. Yeah, not the not the best wood to do feather sticks with. I'm gonna go ahead and sheath that. Pull out the old K bar fin blade. You guys have seen me beating the snot out of this knife. This is D2, uh, D2 steel. And again, I'm in very, uh, very warm conditions, or not very warm, but you know, 50 degrees. Certainly not 10 degrees or anything like that. Trust me, you wouldn't see me in a sleeveless Under Armour if it was. If it was that cold out, this cut that you see on my hand—that's from hiking in the. Uh, and that's again why I wanted to wear those, or why I wanted to buy those uh, those Nike batting gloves um, because they just protect my hands when I'm coming in through the briars, prickers, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> 